Apple unveiled in September its latest smartphone, the iPhone 5, which is taller, faster, and sleeker than its predecessor. Perhaps the bigger news was what it didn't have, near-field communications. NFC, as it's known, is um, considered the technology front-runner to power mobile payments. Apple, which has become well-known for its disruptive tendencies from music to personal computing, appears to be adopting a wait-and-see approach for mobile payments. Although it's remained hush on such plans, it does appear that mobile payments may be part of its strategy. Apple has already applied for patents around NFC technology and security technology. It is dubbed the iWallet. It also has plans to acquire a firm called Authentech, which makes digital fingerprinting technology to help individuals bolster their digital security. Apple also recently introduced an app called Passbook, which enables the user to digitally store loyalty cards, uh, prepaid cards, movie tickets, boarding passes, all on the device. It has geolocation, which also enables the app to automatically pull up whatever card or ticket you might need based on the venue you're entering. It's easy to see how Passbook could be a precursor to mobile payments moving forward. In fact, Apple may be one of the best positioned tech companies to enter the mobile space. It has gained considerable um, retail experience operating its own e-commerce platform, iTunes, and then also through the 400 stores it operates worldwide. If it chooses to enter mobile payments, it could almost immediately solve two problems that merchants have with adopting mobile payments, costly terminal upgrades and the guarantee of a consumer base to use them. It's conceivable that Apple could enter the space with its own suite of products that could turn its signature devices like the iPad and iPhone into cash registers that automatically connect wirelessly to consumers' iTunes accounts. Furthermore, when Apple enters the picture, it has 435 million iTunes customers behind it. Such a system could potentially save merchants a lot of money if Apple is able to take the, the higher volume and offer lower payment fees to merchants. It also could potentially offer a loyalty program for merchants that may not already have one. It's equally feasible that Apple could go even a step further and entice consumers to, to connect their iTunes account directly to their bank accounts and circumnavigate the traditional payment infrastructure altogether. With all these payment pieces lining up, it's hard to imagine that Apple will forgo the opportunity to disrupt payments as is done for numerous other industries. The only question remaining is if it will do it with something like NFC or another short-range technology like Bluetooth Low Energy, which is on its devices today.